Hey, Nish from To The Point Tech here, and today I'm taking a look at this very tiny MP3 player made by Oak Castle. You can pick up one of these for about £20 or $25, but let's get straight into the review. As you can see, this is a really tiny MP3 player, and it weighs in at just 27 grams. It's modelled after the kind of SanDisk Clip MP3 players, and it's kind of a Chinese knockoff of those, basically. The kind of standout features, I'd say, are this clip, which allows you to connect it to stuff, and it also has Bluetooth included in there to connect up to headphones. The screen on there is probably something around an inch and a half, I think. It's really not very big, and it's not the most amazing resolution, but it does get quite bright. On the front, you've got your main buttons to control it. It's kind of like a directional pad, and then you've got a couple side buttons. You turn it on with the on button, which is just on the top. And the last kind of button is on the side. You've got this toll switch. Now, if you turn that on, it will basically lock the buttons so that you don't have any accidental button presses while you're working out or something. In terms of your IO, on the top, we've got the 3.5 mil jack for your headphones or whatever. On the bottom, there's a micro USB for connecting to your computer to transfer files and also charging. And finally, on the right, we've got a micro SD card slot. Now, this player has eight gigabytes internal memory, and you can expand that by up to 64 gig in the form of a card. When it comes to the software, on this mp3 player i'd say i had a better experience than i did on the ruizu x06 which i reviewed previously the buttons kind of at least do somewhat what you expect the main menu i'd say is very self-explanatory you can access kind of all the features you'd expect music is probably going to be the thing most people are interested in with this device and it does support all your major file formats including kind of the lossless types like flac but when it comes to accessing your music there's a few of those quirks like i have with the ruizu there's basically two ways to access your music you can either go through the music menu or go through a file browsing menu now the music menu attempts to use the metadata of your files, like trying to look at what the artist and album are. I say tries to because in my experience it doesn't really work very well at all. It like strips the track number off a lot of my albums and also gets the artist wrong a few times, so it's very hit and miss in that sense. But you know, at least there's that fallback of file browsing, except the issue with that is it seems to not even sort the music in alphabetical order. Somehow I think it's using the date it was added onto the storage or memory card rather than using an alphabetical order, so it is a little bit annoying to browse your music collection, particularly if you're moving things on and off often. So yeah, in terms of accessing your music library, it's not giving you that kind of full iPod type functionality. You can't like shuffle an artist, for example. And as far as I can see on the device, you can't really make playlists. And I'm not really sure if it would work well with playlists you've made externally, for example. The UI for playing music is at least quite straightforward and simple and works quite well. You can change the play mode to introduce things like shuffle, though it does take quite a few button presses. You do also have the option for a very rudimentary genre based equalizer, which again, you can access by pressing pressing the M button when you're on now playing. Now Bluetooth is one of the standout features in this MP3 player and there is a dedicated Bluetooth menu to kind of configure your Bluetooth devices. It is a little bit weird in that you have to press Bluetooth on before you go on to search for devices but once you're onto that the pairing is pretty straightforward. I didn't have too many issues with it and it does have quite a good feature there. If you want to set it to automatically search for Bluetooth devices when you power on the MP3 player you can enable that or you can disable that if you're only going to be using Bluetooth devices sometimes. Now before I go on to talking about my experience using this player I'd really appreciate if you could subscribe if you're liking what you see so far. It is a very long road to a thousand. But anyway, as for the basics using this thing, firstly, audio quality, both wireless and wired, is pretty damn good. It also goes quite loud, so if you're trying to drive some particularly high impedance headphones, I think it does a pretty decent job at getting the volume up. That being said though, it's really not an audiophile device because you're lacking a kind of detailed equalizer to tune the music just how you like it. You're limited to that kind of preset based equalizer. The form factor and the clip on here make it really, really well suited to kind of work out type activities, walking, running, etc. It's very easy to just clip onto your pocket and waistband and it stays very secure as you're working out. They've also handily put the audio jack on the top so that wires kind of stay out the way as well. Battery life is of course always a talking point for devices like this and I was kind of worried because the size of the device I thought the battery life would be awful. They rate it for 9 hours wireless and 30 hours wired. I tested it wireless, I ran a kind of battery life test myself, and got 8-9 to nine hours, which I was very impressed with. And while I haven't tested it for wired, I think it should be able to achieve at least 15-20 to 20 hours or so, which considering the size of the device, I think is very impressive. Oak Castle definitely aren't the only company that have tried to emulate the kind of SanDisk players. I found this other one by a company called Victor, which looks very, very similar to the Oak Castle player. It has the same button layout and perhaps even the same software. So when it comes to those two, I'd probably just pick whichever one is cheapest. As for SanDisk options, there's a couple out there. 
There is the Jam for about £20. That's kind of similar to this, but it doesn't have Bluetooth. In terms of their higher spec offerings, there is the Clip Sport Plus. Now this is officially waterproof and it does have Bluetooth, but it comes at a price of £40 and it doesn't have an SD card slot. So you're very much limited in terms of the storage capabilities there. And even if you're going to benefit from maybe a better file reading system, you might not be able to take advantage of that because you just can't fit as much music on there. So with that, I think my verdict with this MP3 player is very much mixed and it's really a question of who it's for and who it isn't for. In terms of who it isn't for, it's definitely anyone with a large music library or anyone who's looking to tune, you know, their equalizers or to get the music a very particular way because the software quirks on here and the way it kind of reads the music is just flawed in a few ways and you're just not going to have a good time. What it is good for is a really simple kind of maybe podcast or audio book little player or if you have a smaller music library or you just want to kind of basic shuffle all your music because it's very good at doing that. The hardware on here is really good and fit for purpose for those kind of fitness type activities like running and walking. So yeah, I think as a player it is a little bit flawed, but given the right kind of customer, I think you could have a really good experience with this. And with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope this was a useful review. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Subscribe for more To The Point Tech content. Also, if you're curious, I have another channel where I've been making kind of food related content. If you want a little bit of a change of pace, then I'll link that in the description as well. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.